Michael Playmaker Urban. Listen, let me let, let's talk about this too now, because we, we I, I'll give it to you, Dan. I'll give it to you. You're right. They're, they're a playoff team. They they've earned that right in the way they play. They're a physical football team, and their quarterback doesn't make mistakes. But they beat the Jets, the Chargers, Cleveland, Carolina. Mm -hmm. are, 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 do we? We got. I, they're, they're, I, I say they're in the playoffs, but are they the most dangerous team? Uh, I, no, no, I say no to that. Now, I do believe, I do believe, we just talked about the Chiefs getting their swagger back. Mm -hmm. You know, we just talked about the Buffalo Bills right there putting up 45 points. Those are two explosive teams. And, and, and I believe that's the one thing I want to see the Patriots. That's the next hurdle I want to see yeah. for the Patriots. Play an explosive team. Team that gets out front and let me watch you come back because you're going to see those teams like we just talked about, the Buffaloes or the Kansas mm -hmm. City Chiefs when you get to the playoffs. So that's why I'm not, that's why I'm saying they're not the most dangerous team in the AFC. <sighs> Dan, is, Dan came close to changing my mind on this weeks ago, and then I watched the New England Patriots, and I'm going to tell you they have changed my mind. I definitely think they're the most dangerous team because I'm looking at their defense. They're very opportunistic. They're very experienced. And here's the thing that everyone knows this. We don't say it enough. You can't be anything less than an elite quarterback and think you're going to beat Bill Belichick. It's sure. not going to happen. He exposes average. And those average, teams I talk about he, have he, those he, quarterbacks. Yeah, I understand that, but he, he exposes average quarterbacks. Now, right. let's understand something here. The only person that's proven to be elite come postseason time is Patrick, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Right. Okay. Ryan Tannehill hasn't proven to be post, uh, elite postseason. Lamar you, Jackson you, you hasn't. Hold on, Josh hold on, Allen? hold on. I'm getting to my point. I okay. let you speak. Fall okay, okay, back. Go ahead. Fall back. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That, go ahead, go, go. go. Josh uh, Ryan Tannehill yeah. hasn't proven to be elite in the postseason. Lamar Jackson hasn't proven to be elite in the postseason. Josh Allen hasn't proven to be elite in the postseason. That's a fact. When they beat Baltimore, he was 17. They won. They won 17 to three. They lost in the AFC Championship game to Kansas City. Okay. That's the only time we've really seen him in the postseason. So what I'm saying to you is you purview the landscape. In the AFC, okay, Justin Herbert, we ain't seen him yet, not in the postseason, and he's a young quarterback that would be going up against Bill Belichick. So Let's say for the him. sake of argument, Derek Carr manages to get there. Don't get me started with him. He ain't proven to be elite, okay? All right, Keyshawn's still hiding over that one, okay? <laughs> Let's say Joe, Joe Burrow was lucky enough to get there. We believe in Joe Burrow. But there's some games where he's been a little bit exposed. Yeah. And what we thought we'll of him, he's, he's made some errors. He hasn't proven to be elite. Lamar Jackson hasn't proven to be elite. Ben Roethlisberger is a stationary target. Certainly not elite anymore. And again, I brought up Josh Allen. There is no one in the AFC outside of Patrick Mahomes who you can definitively say is that dude in the postseason. And oh, by the way, when Patrick Mahomes shows up against New England, he usually struggles against them more than he struggles against anybody else. So when you look at it and the veterans, the veteran leadership they got on the defensive side of the yeah. ball and offensively, they don't beat themselves for the most part because that's the greatest thing you can say about Mac Jones. This kid, Ramondre Stevenson, running the football effectively for them as well. I'm just saying I can't ignore no, they're, what I'm they're seeing from really New England well. right they, now. They could use another receiver, but, Dan, here's where I'm at. Listen, I would my dream would be to still see Belichick and Brady in another Super Bowl, but here's where I felt like I couldn't get too excited about this game and tell me if I'm wrong, because there's no Chubb, there's no Felton, and there's no Hunt. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, Malls. I would say I, I think the outside of that first drive yesterday, New yeah. England's defense was fantastic. Um, I think a lot of the run game is often tied to the offensive line, not just the back. And that offensive line was still there. Um, I think that the Patriots are the second most dangerous team in the AFC. Uh, I think Buffalo is still the best and most dangerous team. I think Buffalo is the best team in football, okay? I, I've remained adamant in that. I think Buffalo in the AFC, the Los Angeles Rams in the NFC. Um, everyone talks about New England's defense. There's been – they played 10 games. There has been one quarterback to play a good game against this defense this year. One, Dak Prescott, was the mm -hmm. only guy quarterback-wise to play well this year. They played against Justin Herbert. He had his worst game of the year against them. They, they played against on, Tom. They put they, they, right. Tom had a very pedestrian game right. against yes, them. So this defense is going to make basically any – so I, I kind of agree with Stephen A's Bill point. Belichick. you got to be a, a dude at the quarterback spot. And they've even made those guys look very right, basic right, this right, year. Right, But Lamar I, has that special little yes, thing. Yes, Lamar's that, special, that, no doubt. I think the thing right. that makes New England indifferent to me or very different than me compared to the other teams, I think they got the best offensive line in the AFC right now. Mm -hmm. Their offensive line, 
The Cleveland Browns came into yesterday's game with the number one pass rush unit in the NFL. Mm -hmm. They pressured Mac Jones three times. Yeah. I think that the Patriots offensive line is rounding in to be just as good as their defense. And I don't think anybody in the AFC has that. And I will push back on you with this. We got to stop saying Mac Jones' best thing is he doesn't hurt the football team. Right. Maybe, maybe the kid's just really freaking good. No, I've always liked Mac Jones coming out of Alabama. But Remember, we can't say the, the best thing is he doesn't hurt the football team. The best thing he does is he knows exactly where to go with the football, and he knows exactly when to throw the football, and he knows how to throw the football, and he's wildly accurate, and he plays incredibly fast. Like, all the things that matter the most to quarterback play, he does really good. Well, you can say that. My retort to that would be if you've got an offensive line that's protecting you and you have a running game that buffers your offense. Those are two components that are incredibly pivotal to assisting a quarterback, particularly sure. a young quarterback yeah. that's right. learning a new system that you're bringing along slowly. You said yourself weeks ago, they don't make things too complicated for Mac Jones. They're bringing them along slowly. Right. And you're seeing elevation, but it's relatively incremental from the standpoint that you're not asking him to do but so much. I'm saying to you, your points are valid, but they would be even more substantive if – he didn't have a stout offensive line right. or a running game to buffer right. that. But and when you've got to worry about those two things, that definitely does help yeah. him now. But, but, and that's a great point. It's a great point. But that's the one reason that I say I'm not ready to make him the most dangerous. Because, yeah, they have all of that. But when it comes to explosiveness, you, I, don't have, I don't see those guys on the outside that they have. Now, now Bourne has been playing great bad okay. football. Great football. Yes, he okay. going up, been going up and, getting, and making some plays. And those guys outside have been making plays. But, but, but I don't know if I can say with those guys that you have on outside and you're down right, we 14. Got a question, so what, but, but you I see you champing out you, the bed over here. What? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.